Refugees coming to Hamburg first live in an initial reception facility, the so-called Erstaufnahmeeinrichtung. Many refugees ask themselves, when do I get transferred to a long-term accommodation? With this clip, we would like to explain that to you. Apart from the central initial reception facility, the so-called Zentrale Erstaufnahmeeinrichtung, ZEA, there were more than 30 initial reception facilities in fall 2015. Those temporary accommodations can be very different. In the last months, so many refugees came to Hamburg that there wasn't enough firm housing for everyone. That's why there are accommodations like these container houses. There are also tent villages or shut-down hardware stores as accommodations. The term transfer describes the movement of a refugee from an initial reception facility to a following long-term accommodation, the so-called Folgeeinrichtung. We are now in front of an initial reception facility in Hamburg and are going to meet Pablo, a social worker who is going to answer a few questions about the process of transfer. What are the preconditions to get transferred? There are two preconditions. First of all, medical approval, the so-called Ärztliche Freigabe. This means the refugee has to get a medical examination at the central initial reception facility, die zentrale Erstaufnahme. They also have to get x-rayed and vaccinated. As soon as they have these three stamps, they get the medical approval. Then there is also the residence obligation, the Residenzpflicht. I have one more question concerning the medical approval. Can I also go see another doctor apart from the one in the ZEA? Unfortunately not. There is only one doctor in Hamburg who is responsible for all those medical issues. Can I somehow speed up the process of transfer? Unfortunately, you cannot speed it up. But an initial reception facility is not a prison. Meaning that an asylum seeker has to be registered in a temporary accommodation. But if you have friends or family who live here and have their own apartment, you can also stay there and just come here for lunch or to see a doctor or to get your mail. This is not a prison. Okay, now I've learned the following. In order to get transferred, I need three things. First of all, I need to be registered. Second of all, I need medical approval. And last but not least, I need to have fulfilled the residence obligation. Now I've fulfilled all three conditions, but I still don't get transferred. Why not? Which refugee gets transferred at what time depends on these conditions. Very sick people get a place in a long-term accommodation faster than healthy refugees. Actually, those people who have been waiting to get transferred for a long time should get transferred first. But that doesn't always work. There are different reasons for that. Sometimes there's only one vacant place for a single person in a long-term accommodation. That's why bigger families often have to wait longer. However, sometimes it's also the other way around. There's no rule. People who decide on transfer try not to mix up the nationalities of the refugees too much in order to avoid conflicts. This means that there can be a vacant place for an Afghan but not for a Serb. Or there's a place for an Eritrean but not for an Afghan. Refugees who receive a residence permit get transferred as soon as possible, even if those who don't have a residence permit have been waiting for a longer time. Due to all these reasons, it's possible that a refugee who arrived later than you did gets transferred earlier. As you can see, this is a very complex process. Plus, there's only one institution that decides on all the transfers. The Reception and Distribution Center, the so-called Aufnahme- und Vermittlungsstelle Hamburg. For more information and more welcome films, click here.